There are many parts of southern Nevada that were hit hard from Friday and Saturday storms that resulted in massive flooding. And that includes the small town of Sandy Valley, which is about an hour's drive just southwest of Las Vegas on the way to Prim and not too far from the California-Nevada border. Several homes there were damaged. 8 News Now reporter Victoria Saha tells us how those living in that flood zone are doing their best to rebuild. Furniture, floors all destroyed by Friday night storms. It's left a Sandy Valley couple with practically nothing left to save in their house. Damage everywhere. What does this house mean to you? Uh, everything. Pete and his wife like to live a quiet, simple life, which is why they asked us to not identify their full names. It's been a hard few days as they walk through a house that means so much, but is now in shambles. I made this 40-something years ago for my daughter, who passed a couple years ago. That's her right there. And uh, I was afraid it got ruined, but... I think I saved it. I got the floor panels coming up. I mean, damage everywhere. I'm going to fix it. It was raining hard Friday evening. Many roads in Sandy Valley were damaged, which didn't spare the homes either. It was like a, a river coming down through the front. I, I looked out the window and was shocked. I just didn't believe what I was seeing. Water was flooding into their house. I clean everything and keep working as I go. I didn't sleep for two days. The couple live in a flood zone, but because of costs, they say they weren't able to afford flood insurance. Do you think it would have been worth getting flood insurance now that you see the damage? Dollar for dollar, possibly. Pete and his wife have lived in Sandy Valley for 12 years. They tell me they never thought they would need flood insurance, and who knows how often they would have to use it. There was nothing you can do. But now that the damage is done, Pete is focused on rebuilding his home day by day. Reporting in Sandy Valley, Victoria Saha, 8 News Now. The couple estimates they have about $35,000 worth of repairs to do, and since they live so far out on the fringes of Clark County, they say they did not want to wait for a restoration companies to come to them.